Okay, I admit it. I probably tricked you into watching this with that title. Unless you're going to watch it anyway, because you watch every vlog. And if you do, thanks. Thanks for watching me. I don't actually think that WoW is dying, but a lot of people do. Uh, there will be an article linked in the info to an article posted on GameSpot about the uncertain future of WoW. Mists of Pandaria is close to coming out. Uh, I've mentioned it on five things when it was first announced. And they have some pretty interesting statistics here about it um, through their own uh, fact-finding because they're a, pr they're a pretty large gaming site. They have a pretty large gaming community that's built into the site. I would say it's one of the more prestigious gaming communities that's out there. There's also like 1UP and IGN. They're both pretty good. Uh, and this is what they, they wanted to point out most interesting, interestingly. Um, they can on, on GameSpot, you can follow a game. So once a game is announced, it will be added to their database. You can look at the page, even if there's no info there. And you can click to follow it. And every time there's an update, you get notified that there's been an update. So they looked at the other expansions that have been released for WoW so far, and the Burning Crusade took three months to reach 1,000 followers. So once it was announced, it took three months for 1,000 people to click follow on their page. Wrath of the Lich King by comparison, took five days. So, awesome. Like, two years after Burning Crusade, interest in WoW was way up. Like, the level cap had been raised, and um, Wrath of the Lich King comes out. Big deal. Big deal. People were really excited. Cataclysm, which is right when I started, it's, it's like I started playing eight months before Cataclysm happened. And then I got to experience Cataclysm before I eventually quit. Uh, Cataclysm took four days to reach 1,000. So, you know, still holding strong. And then Mists of Pandaria. Mists of Pandaria has been listed on their website since October, which is probably around when I talked about it. It's March. That expansion has 587 followers on GameSpot. It hasn't even reached 1,000. It doesn't look like it's going to reach 1,000. It probably won't. So... Are people leaving for Star Wars? I mean, everyone wants, will probably just point at Star Wars and go, well, there's a new game in town. And, I mean, that's where I went. The subscription base of WoW was at a record high of 12 million. It's now down to about 10.2, according to this article. Um, Star Wars has sold... It, they haven't... I don't think they've released numbers but or of, of how many subscriptions there are, but they've sold... 2 million copies. That's what it says here. And tallied 1.7 million subscribers. I don't know where they stand at right now. But uh, Guild Wars 2 is about to come out. Planet Side 2 I discussed on five things. Like, it's been long enough now that if World of Warcraft is the iPod of, of the MMO world, all these other things that are coming along are, are the Zune and the no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Bad example because the iPod reigns supreme. Let's let's go back. Okay, WoW is Nintendo. WoW is Nintendo. They have this market cornered. Then Star Wars and let's just throw Guild Wars in there come along, and they are the Sony and Microsoft. There we go. That's a better example because. They have studied what Nintendo, or WoW, did. They've studied what Blizzard did. They've, they've played with all the features of this seven-year-old game. They understand exactly... I mean, by this point, case studies have probably been done on exactly all the effects of MMOs and exactly why people play them, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And now you can just take all those studies and everything that everyone knows about MMOs and plug them into the new games. And... If you have all those things, you probably will have a successful game. I've been playing Star Wars for a month, and it's great. And I'm going to cancel it next week just because I don't have enough time to play it. But I'm looking forward to the long weekend that I get coming up when I get to re-enable my subscription and gorge on it for like uh, 12 hours over two days. That's what I plan on doing. Do I plan on, on turning back on my WoW subscription any, the next time I get a chance? No. No, I don't. Why is it? I don't know. I don't. Maybe the subscription price needs to come down. Maybe, maybe they just need to. I don't know. I don't know. What's your idea? <laughs> I I apparently don't have any ideas to fix. Wow, I played it for long enough that Ron played it for years, 
Ron, why did you stop playing? In fact, if you are watching this video and you have stopped playing WoW, this is a better question. Why have you stopped playing? Maybe based on all the reasons that we can find people have stopped playing, we can figure out how to get people to start playing again. Not that it's our job. I'm just interested. Click. Where's the button?